with all this time at home, I'm going to be so productive. I'm going to read all the books and work out and probably learn a new language. Hey guys, John here for another episode of M1 Finance Chronicles. Today I'm just going to talk about how my M1 Finance portfolio is doing. This video is going to be short because basically I'm just going to tell you about all the money that I lost. Comfort food. Alright, let's get to it. So the first position we're going to talk about is VGT, which is my Vanguard Information Technology ETF. I've had this position for less than a month, and I'm actually up 8.71%. This is probably the only position where I'm up. Next position is VNQ, which is a real estate ETF. In the last month, I'm down 21.53%, and overall, I'm down 32.86%. Next is my Schwab International ETF. I'm down 13.31% in the last month and down 29.8% overall. Next is my new Veeam ESG small cap ETF, down 20.16% in the last month and down 40.62% overall. And wrapping up my ETFs, I have VWO, which is my Vanguard Emerging Markets ETF, which I'm down 14.24% in the last month and 28.92% overall. So we're just going to speed through all of these stocks. Lyft, I'm down 15.9% in the last month and 44.03% overall. Comcast, I'm down 9.9% in the last month and down 24.26% overall. Tesla, I'm down 21.56% in the last month, but actually net positive 14.87% since having this stock. Go Tesla! Honestly, I don't even see the point of like saying all of the rest of my stocks, so I'm just going to go through this really fast. Lockheed Martin, I'm down 4.49% in the last month. Disney, I'm down 13.69% in the last month. Starbucks, I'm down 10.09%. Amex, I'm down 21.29%. Grubhub, I'm down 24.03%. Next up, we got Hilton. Hilton's gotten hit really hard. The hotel industry is getting devastated right now. I'm down 27.79% in the last month, and I am down 53.5% overall in this position. But that is not as bad as my position with Delta Airlines, where just in the last month, I am down 49.8%. And overall, I am down 76.38% in Delta. So, so am I really changing my strategy? I'm still gonna be contributing money to this portfolio, even though it has some high risk positions like Hilton and Delta. Throughout all of this, my main strategy has always been buy and hold. And right now it's really hard, but I'm trying not to be emotional about my investing and just stay the course. Guys, I am done timing the market. I keep seeing the markets going up and down and it's so volatile. But yeah, instead of timing the market, what I am doing is timing myself. When I have that six month emergency fund and I'm ready, then I'm going to invest. I'm just gonna dollar cost average. I'm honestly done with like seeing all of these fluctuations. Just And honestly, I think that's a pretty smart thing to do because we really cannot time the market, guys. So don't try. In other news, I've been stress eating a lot and my gym is closed, which has not been helping at all with my fitness goals. But it's okay because this is my comfort food right now. Pita chips are so good. Wait a minute. I got my hummus.